Welcome to our channel viewers. In today's video tutorial, we have covered in detail about the recent advances in the management of gastric cancer. Elements of this video tutorial will be AJCC classification, anatomy, TNM staging, the lymphostation according to the Japanese classification, the extent of lymph dissection as per the Japanese uh, latest classification, lab versus open uh, distal gastrectomy in early and uh, advanced gastric cancer. Uh, then we will discuss about peripheral chemotherapy uh, and reconstruction option and uh, core practice guidelines that we have covered in the last part of the video tutorial. Gastric cancer is the third leading cause of death in the world. One major factor in the global decline of the gastric cancer is uh, because of the uh, present treatment available for the H. pylori. The discovery of H. pylori uh, was in 1980 by Dr. Barry Warren and Robin, uh, Robin Russell for which they won the Nobel Prize. And after that, gradually there is a decline in the gastric cancer worldwide. Japan and South Korea, they are two, uh, they are two regions with highest incidence of gastric cancer in the world, which is tenfold as compared to the rest of the world. And that's why they are the leading centers in the treatment of gastric cancer and Japanese and Korean guidelines are uh, being followed worldwide for the treatment of gastric cancer. So, uh, as per AJC 8, the tumor involving the esophageal gastric junction with tumor epicenter no more than 2 cm into proximal stomach is stage esophageal, esophageal cancer. It is similar as we have discussed in the uh, proximal uh, gastrectomy video also that is severe type 1 and type 2 are staged and treated as esophageal cancer. While the esophageal gastric uh, junction tumor with epicenter located more than 2 cm of the proximal stomach are staged and managed as per the guidelines for the gastric cancer. So, severe type 1 and type 2 uh, is management as per the esophageal cancer and severe type 3 as per the uh, gastric cancer. Cardiac cancer not involving the esophageal gastric junction are staged as stomach cancer. In the fig A, if tumor epicenter is uh, more than 2 cm from the esophageal gastric junction, or tumor located within uh, 2cm esophageal gastric junction but does not involve the esophageal gastric junction that will be tumor B, they will be labeled and managed as per the uh, gastric cancer guidance. To uh, the uh, classification of regional lymph nodes as per the AGC-8, uh, in the latest edition of American Joint Committee on Cancer that is AGC-8, they have recommended that at least 16 regional lymph nodes be removed or assessed pathologically and more than 30 are desirable for complete pathological assessment for the uh, customer's stomach. The direct extension into liver, transverse colon, pancreas or under surface of diaphragm is T4B not M1. That is important to understand that direct extension into the adjoining organs that is liver, transverse colon, pancreas and diaphragm is a locally advanced disease that like T4B but is not a metastatic disease. The positive pattern cytology will be M1 and non regional lymph node will include retropancreatic, pancreatic duodenal, peripancreatic, spirimizentic, middle colic, para aortic or retroperitoneal. There is a little bit discrepancy uh, <coughs> in the AJCC and Japanese classification uh, and that we will uh, discover like uh, retropagnetic will be station 13 uh, in the uh, Japanese classification and uh, so on. So, so in the uh, subsequent part of the videos we have covered in detail about the lymphostation and type of lymphonectomy that is required in the CS stomach. Again coming on the AJC uh, 8 recommendation the diagnostic laparoscopy and peritoneal washing in which uh, be <coughs> After doing the diagnostic laparoscopy, we uh, instill 200 ml of NS and after agitating the abdomen, thorough agitating of the abdomen, we aspirate the content and send, for it, uh, send the fluid for the uh, cytology. If the cytology comes positive, then this patient will be labeled as uh, metas uh, metastatic that will be pathologically M1 and further uh, surgery is not warranted that because it will not add to the survival benefits. Okay. Additional factors recommended uh, in AGC level with evidence level 3, CEA and Kessler antigen 19.9, that is CA 99. Elevated CA, it is a no independent prognostic value but may be useful in the surveillance that is 
uh, if the tumor uh, level are rising in the uh, post operative period, period that means it uh, is a signal a bad signal and uh, a signal for recurrence uh, but the treatment decisions are not affected by the pre operative uh, tumor markers the micro satellite instability index if it is high it gives a better overall prognosis but it has no independent prognostic value similarly her2 it has no independent prognostic value but if the patient is HER2 positive, we can give HER2 directed therapy.